hello everyone welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial I am planning to talk about JSON so let's get started with JSON what does JSON stands for it stands for JavaScript object notation it is syntax for storing and exchanging data it is basically used in retrieving or accessing data from a web server like XML but XML is more difficult than JSON so many of the developers used to prefer JSON and JSON is a lightweight data interchange format let's explore more about JSON now we'll see the advantages of JSON JSON first of all is a language independent format and JSON uses same JavaScript syntax and it doesn't require external parser it is parsed by JavaScript parser and it is a data format used by any programming language as I said earlier it is a language independent format and it is more readable and it is quicker and shorter as well it doesn't it doesn't require parsing now we'll see the differences between XML and the JSON why many of the developers are choosing a JSON so JSON is used to retrieve data from a web server and XML is also used to retrieve data from a web server JSON is a self describing it's a human readable and XML is also a human readable format but they both shares the same properties but there are some difference they both can be fetched with XML HTTP request object but the main difference here is JSON is fast and small because it doesn't require external parser it is ready to parse in JavaScript object but XML requires XML parser so we'll see more about JSON in the later session of this video now let's code now we'll see the example of JSON in the sublime text editor in this file which is new data dot HTML now I would like to give script tag here inside this script tag I would like to create JSON object before that I would like to create a div tag let's give ID as JSON data above this div tag take one div column and say column SM12 it's a bootstrap class it take all 12 columns for small size devices inside this div tag I would like to take button tag which could be of type submit and let's give the name as click me to get JSON and on this button click I would like to give on click event which will be JSON function in JavaScript so let's keep the class as text center so we are all done with HTML now let's create a function called JSON which can be called when the user clicks this button on click it will call it will redirect to the to this function inside this function I would like to create a JSON object which could be customers so this is the syntax for JSON inside this curly braces inside this curly braces you need to give your key value pairs because JSON contains key value pairs I'll show you how to give that first of all we need to give 
the key here then the value the value can be drawn let's take comma comma is the separator between two properties this is the first key value pair this is our first pair of the JSON to separate this we need to put comma let's take another key value pair that will that will be age 30 comma let's take city and let's say Hyderabad so after this JSON object I would like to display the key value pair of this JSON object in an HTML tag that is get element by ID and let's call the ID which is which we have already created that is JSON data inside this div tag I want to display JSON data so inside this dot inner HTML I want to display suppose name let's save this and let's see the changes in the browser click yeah you can see here the John is displaying on the left hand side of the browser you can see here let's try to access now we'll ax we now we'll try to access the city of the customer let's save hit refresh click on this button yeah it is working our JSON is working we can access but this is the individual key value pair but what if I want to display all the properties all the pairs inside the JSON object so for that I want to take for loop in customers where I in customers inside this for loop I'll call this get element my ID the ID is JSON data dot inner HTML customers of I plus I'm taking this bracket because we want space after displaying each and every object put semicolon here save the changes hit the refresh button click here yeah we are getting all the properties you can see here all the properties all the values all the values of JSON object which we have given in this customer JSON object so this way we can access all the properties all the values of JSON object but what if I want to display only the key not the values I'll take I here yeah you can see here if I want to display this key this keys so I need to take I value here instead of taking customer of I customers of I will display the values of JSON 
not the keys so this could be the easy way of for getting the keys to be printed on your HTML page so this way you can access the JSON object and we'll see how we can nest arrays in JSON so these are the key value pairs which we have seen hopefully you are getting what I am trying to explain you now we'll see something even better uh, we'll see how we can nest arrays in inside JSON object first car I'm taking the array of cards let's say first car would be the Ferrari the second one would be BMW and third one let's say Audi now if we want to display this car values inside this for loop what I want to do is I want to display this car value car uh, cars array so for that I need to take dot cars oops not here here I have to take customers dot cards of I let's save this refresh the browser and click on this button it is not working let's save hit the button yeah it is working now you can see here we are enable we are able to retrieve all the values of this cars array inside the JSON object this is the array so this is the syntax first you need to remember if you are a beginner you need to remember the syntax for JSON and arrays nested arrays inside the JSON so this is the array nested inside JSON object and I'll, I have shown you how to access this nested array of JSON so this way you can access for var i in customers dot cars you can access this all all stuff you can access without using this way hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video